Back in 2015, a little game called Solar Rancher was released for early access. Since then, the game went through many changes. Originally running on a potato, now with a sequel and around the corner, it seems that now the game has upgraded to a unicorn. Fun Rancher has truly come a long way. In this video, I thought it'd be fun to go back and see how far the Monterey Park has come. Please keep in mind that I started playing the game back in 2017 after its launch day and before Octon's expansion. So a lot of information I'm going to put out is from the patch notes, as well as others who's been in the game long longer, or as I should say, in the beginning of the game. So yeah. Let's start with slimes because that's the title of the game after all. There's been two main slimes that went through changes. The rest of the slimes has been very consistent since the very beginning of its development. The two slimes are the puddle and the meteor slime. The puddle in the very beginning, I mean the very beginning, was a lot different th than we see in today's puddle slime. Back then, the puddle slime basically looked like a pink slime but blue just by the footage that, that, that you see it's obvious that the minimum bark had to make some few changes now when it comes to its shy behavior i don't really know if it, if it stayed the same consistent i i i can't really say i was around this time when the game was being developed now it wasn't until patch 0 0.3 0 0.0 when the post line made a overall change. In this patch, the integral query was released as well as the redesign of the post line. Now it looks like this. Yeah, quite a dramatic change from it was before. Now it, it looks like a egg yolk. I'm, I'm wondering what was the design process with this line. Was someone hungry for eggs and decided that should be a slime. Now as for the meteor slime, obviously it's not in the game. It originally was meant to be some sort of my mythical slime that comes out from the sky, but it was scrapped to only be split into two different slimes. That was the, I, if I got my information correctly, the dervish, mosaic, and I think the tangled. The meteor slime was meant to be a magnet magnetic force or gravitational force where it tracks materials as well as a slimes together in its ra radius. But for some strange reason, Monomi Park split the slimes the slime into different forms. Hence how we got the glass desert expansion. Moving away from slimes for a little bit and into the main ranch or your home in the very beginning of the game. Starting with the floor market and the rage exchange, those two were dramatically changed. Back then, the icons were pure white. Nowadays, it went to shadow mode. And honestly, I do like the new change. It makes it much more, makes the floor stand out, at least for the floor market. I say, rage exchange, yeah, it looks much more appealing than it did be before. Another big change was the teleporter. Nowadays, the teleporter is a lot more uh, detailed. Now, I think the biggest change from your main ranch is your home. Currently in the game, we see your inside of your, of your home very cozy. Well, in the old style of the game, it looked like this. Yeah, it kind of looks like Space Marine Boot Camp, doesn't it? It's, uh... I don't know how, 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 how I feel about this, it's just uncomfortable? Uh, someone told me who played the game early on is that the, when you enter your home, there was some creepy music being played or no music at all. I don't know how true this is, this claim, you're more than happy to, uh, you're more than happy to correct me on that. Another dramatic change that the game went through is NPCs. The design that we see today it was a lot different back in the day. No, no offense to the artists back in the day. Uh, Dora West looked like she took the Lord's grass, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Ogden, Machi, and Victor also were very different. Bob, uh, 
Bob, uh, not so much. It, they, he's been mostly the, the same kind of happy slime. Now, I'm not insulting the artists. I'm pretty sure they were still trying to figure it, figure it out. I'm not too sure if they're still on the team or not. I, I kind of hope so because, wow, that's a quite a change from this to this. Speaking of icon changes, your plot of land back then didn't have icons. It was these sort of blocky 2D textures. The overgrowth and the dogs were available to you, but the dogs itself was under construction. It existed, but you couldn't explore it. The grotto was added later on as well as the lab, obviously. Now moving away from your main ranch to the outside world of the far, far range. Early on, the diary was mostly the same. The texture was a lot different. It was more polygon and the saturation was a little more high than usual. The gordos were still around, including the slime keys and the doors. Now, as for the moss blanket and the indigo query, the query was still under construction thanks to this little icon right here. I do hope that in Slime Hunter 2, they bring this icon back. It's, it's really adorable to have a little rock slime with a construction hat. It's... Anywho, the moss blanket itself, well, it went through dramatic changes, mainly the terrain, but that's in later patches. I believe that was in 0.3.5 where they introduced the Hunter Slime. And that's it mostly for the early expand early patches of the game. There were a lot more patches and pre-release of the game. I'm just highlighting the ones that was like way, way, way back be before th they made those changes. Pre-release Slime Rancher, I call it the Golden Age because around that time, every single month, Monterey Park was releasing patches after patches. Except for July, something was going on that month. Now, we're going on the Silver Age, after lunch day. During this time between August and October, there was a minor gap. There was no updates, breaking its monthly tradition of releasing patches. You must be wondering what happened during that gap. Well, Ogden happened. His expansion was released during October 2017. That's when we were introduced to free expansions for the game. A really exciting time. However, though, release patches were clustered around, to say the least. Because of these expansions, Monero Park took their time and released them. I, I mean, yearly. 2017 was Ogden's year, 2018 was Machi Miles, and 2019 was Fixture's expansion, making it the final expansion for Slime Rancher 1. Through 2017 through 2020, I think, was when Monterey Park World was experimenting with the game a little bit. For example, VR for the game came out, as well as other small DLC for console and PC players. Now, I cannot forget the Secret Style, probably one of the more exciting patches for the game or I should say paid content for the game. Now, I'm just speculating on my butt here, here, but I think during that time when Monami Park needed some cash to build Slime Magic 2, so they went with skins. Again, I'm just speculating at this point. Now, 2019 after Victor's expansion is when we hit the Dark Ages. We didn't get a lot of new updates since the third expansion we got the pool party in weekly wonderland and essentially it at this point a lot of people were speculating that slime measure was dead and i don't really blame them. i felt the same and to the point that i was getting burned out i, I was passionate for the game still but i didn't have new content for it for it eventually i had to move on to something else until Yeah, news from the park hit us like a freaking truck. Summer of 2021, when a trailer to Slime Rancher 2 was posted in the Xbox E3 conference. 
and instantly the community sparked or I should say exploded like a boom slime. Just looking at the sequel, it's obvious they made dramatic changes visually. It's a lot more brighter, a new area to explore, as well as excitingly new slimes like the cotton, inkler, bat slime, ringtail, and the flutter slime. Gradually, we've been receiving gameplay and screenshots of the sequel. Now, turn it back to Slime Rancher 1. What's going to happen to it? Was, will one of you park abandon it and continue on with Slime Rancher 2? Uh, well, I don't think they're going to abandon it. Abandoned it. It's more of they're trying to focus on the, uh, the sequel. I don't exactly blame them, but I'm pretty sure they're going to re release patch notes and updates for the uh, first game, including the Weekly Wonderland. It's still been not confirmed whether or not the Singing Slime will have a return in either games. Anyway, I digress. Modern Park has came, come a long way, starting from a one-man team to now a full-functioning studio. Slime Rancher is obviously their main hit uh, of a ga game, and it, it shows that they have been making a lot of progress over the years. The original looked like a polygon experiment, but it flourished into a wonderful sequel. It comes to show that if you put enough work, passion, and understanding your audience, that your game will come out as a flourishing rainbow. It is nice to just look back at how much the game has involved. In fact, I made a video where the, I put a compilation of all these Slime Ranger trailers into one. If you want to check it out, I'll provide a link down below to check it out. What say you, dear Rangers? Have you been playing the game since the beginning? How much has it evolved? Have I missed any sort of information about the original game? Or any features that I should have pointed it out a lot more sooner? Let me know down below. Thank you again. Like always, stay weekly.